Hey viewers, I got a few motors. I'm going to push their absolute RPM limits until they just can't take it anymore. Um, I am going to I am going to rig it rig them up to the DC treadmill, but I'm not going to load the treadmill up. I'm just going to get a voltage off it to see what the motors can actually get them up to. But uh, I'm basically going to overvolt these motors to get as much RPM out of them as possible. And I'm going to uh, use the my 10 amp variac to do that. And that's hooked up to this transformer, 400 volt amp transformer. I've basically got it wired in reverse. Normally line voltage would be coming in here and you get you get either 115 or 230 volts out here. The primary is 575 volts. So I've got it wired for 230 so when I have 120 or 130 volts going in from the Variac, I get about 350 volts coming out of it. That goes straight to a rectifier setup. It converts it from AC to DC and is filtered with a 60 UF 440 volt uh, run capacitor to uh, filter the DC. And that will boost the DC voltage up even more. I don't know how much. And then that's wired directly to the motor. Um, let's get the camera mounted here. So this is the volts the generator's putting out. This is the volts the motor is receiving. This is how many amps this the transformer here is drawing. All right, so let's see what it can do. By the way, this motor was out of a Monarch um, car seat massager. I think. It is 120 volts, so uh, it must have had a little inverter in it or something. Um, the motor is rated for 0.48 amps, so not very much. So let's see what it can do, or how much it can take. I can smell it already.
the motor seems to be handling 300 volts DC pretty well. Keep going. smoke coming out of the motor. It's not going to be able to take much more, I don't think. to a pretty good speed. Damn. Not bad at all. Well, thanks for watching.